remember the last time I've gone more than one day without my phone. Here, there is no internet, a cell phone reception. It's exciting, but also terrifying. For selfish reasons, I couldn't wait to have an excuse to ignore work emails, texts, and social notifications. On the flip side, what if something happened? Am I equipped to handle an emergency? How would I contact anyone? The only phone number I've committed to memory is my own, or 911, neither of which would be much of a use here in this area. But what else can I do other than embrace the adventure and trust in God? You'd be surprised how powerful it could feel to be powerless. As we glided through the jungle on the large surface of the Tortuguero River, I saw the majestic jaguar, the highlight of my exploration, honored us with his presence. He was fearlessly watching us by the riverbank and kept monitoring us from a safe distance and knew how to remain calm. The morning fog was resting on the water, unfolding the jungle in veils of opaque secrecy. The cloud was cool and the river warm, leading to myriads of minuscule steam columns, rising from the surface like a wet exhale, breathed out during an erotic intercourse. All day, a cloud of insects buzzed incessantly around my head and bit my skin. And since there is nowhere to escape, I had to learn to ignore them. Before long, I stopped noticing them. It's remarkable how adaptable the mind and body can be when you cut off alternatives. The rain would often come in such intensity that everything was muted by a roar. Nothing stays the same after the rain. Everything is washed away.
day by day, the everything that had bothered me so much that I'd wondered how I could possibly endure them began to fade into the background. The first floor is really that thick, tangled jungle shown in the movies and adventure stories. It's actually rather the opposite. The floor is actually relatively clear of any vegetation because of the deep darkness created by perhaps 100 feet of canopy vegetation above. The canopy not only blocks out sunlight, but dampens wind and rain, so much so that you may not immediately know it's raining because raindrops are deflected and collected by various canopy plants. I was tired beyond belief, oscillating between unbelievably hot and horribly cold. But by the second week, something magical happened. I was exhausted that I actually slept. One of the most amazing things you will experience in the jungle is seeing wild animals in their natural habitat. Everything works in a complete harmony. Despite the vast amount of life the jungle supports, rainforest soil are actually very nutrient poor. What the forest floor is rich in, however, is fungi, bacteria, and insects that drives the process of decomposition. And because of the hot and humid environment, the organic matter are cycled out extremely fast. With nothing to divide my attention, I started to reflect on more important things like family, community, love, and purpose. I was actually shocked that this stuff was coming from inside my own head. I had never had such crystal clear thoughts about those things before. I had never given myself a chance to reflect that deeply. And to be honest, this freaked me out a little bit at first. But with no choice but to come to grips to those new thoughts, I realized they made me feel stronger, more connected, and better grounded. The time I spent in the jungle told me to move past self-pity and to realize the tremendous privilege I have. I learned some valuable things about myself. I learned that my fears are mostly in my head. I learned that the world around me is very powerful, magical, and worthy of my respect. Fast forward a few weeks, and I still observe in awe and admiration the impression that this rainforest imprinted on my essence. Such fingerprints are made with indelible ink, meant to remain unplunged while traveling in the vortex of time. Visiting the Tortuguero rainforest was an absolute dream and being able to document that was an amazing experience. It opened my eyes to just how many things I have taken for granted. I didn't realize how grateful I am to be where I am now. I have constantly used this lesson whenever I face subsequent challenges and obstacles. I always remember the jungle.
My journey through this jungle was such a priceless gift. I was reminded how it feels to be truly a part of life, rather than just approaching the world as a separate experience. I can't even begin to tell you how life-changing this has been for me. I feel fearless and powerful, like I'm ready to take on anything, and I will. But for now, I'm busy catching up on lost time, being afraid of doing the things that makes me happy, and being able to live my life to its fullest.